So we're just getting ready to take off. We're heading up to Alpine, Wyoming to a family reunion. Nice hot day today. Hopefully it'll be a little cooler up there. I doubt it, but hey, it's worth a shot. All right, let's hit the road. Hi, we're Lane and Sherry Sparks. We love to travel, we love to see different places, and meet new people. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoy this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. We've got lots of places left to go and we'd love to have you come along. We'll see you on the road. Okay, so today is July 13th, 2023, and we're in Alpine, Wyoming at the Frank and Hattie Hunsaker family reunion. Technically it starts tomorrow, but we're here early so that we can uh, you know enjoy a little bit of sanity. a little bit of sanity before the <laughs> the crowd comes. So kind of interested in talking about the memories that you guys have. Uh, obviously I've got memories that go back to 1960, but it goes back further than that. Actually I don't have memories, but I was there. But so how long has this been going? And just give us a little bit of history. Well, it began in, the, I believe, 1954. The way I keep this, it is that it was one year before Vernon died. And that's the way I've always kept the day. And I think that's you true. You did better than me. I and think that's, that's my true. Family. And I think that is true. And it, think began that's true. At, it began at uh, Lakota, Lakota Beach. Lakota Beach. Yeah, up to Lakota. And the Uncle reason Al it began Al there is Uncle Al, Uncle Al owned Lakota Beach for a while and uh, it was there and at the time it began it began with the, the with Anthony Whitaker's family our family uh, Frank and Hattie's family and Uncle Locke's family which, yes. which was all three of them and Uncle Locke Uncle Locke was a, a brother to Grandpa Hunsaker uh, to Frank and uh, Anthony was a sister to uh, and Uncle Al. Well, see, and Uncle, Al was, Uncle Al was the, the baby, baby of the family. Of the family. And he was, he was uh, Grandpa's Huntsaker's brother. But he was born at about the same time, or close to the same time that uh, the Uncle, High the was. Uncle High was. And he and Uncle High sort of grew up together. And, and were friends the rest of their lives, really. The thing I wanted to bring up also is that Jack reminded me one a few times ago that we need to remember that when we talk about uh, Frank and Hattie that we have absorbed Al and Clara's family as, as still part of our family because yeah. the others broke off the others as, as time went on as they it got they off. got bigger and yeah and right. so they broke off and did their own thing and we kept but, but Uncle Al's yeah. family stayed with Stay our family, family. With and, your... and I've thought about that a little bit myself just today actually <laughs> the uh, when the Whitakers broke off for instance I know the Jim and uh, Nedra's their kids and their kids I knew who they were but yeah. I, but, but the, you kind of lose track but well, they're all gone now except for uh, that except for a grandson <laughs> and even the grandchildren of uh, well, I don't know all of the grandchildren, but most of the grandchildren of Jim and Nedra's uh, I do. And all well, of them, they them are dead except they for two up. of them. And the, and the next generation, I or I know none of them, actually. Yeah. So it has split a long way. Yeah, Uncle Al sold the Yeah, well, Uncle Al, he had Uncle sold it before we started it. He yeah. didn't own it when we started the reunion. Though. That's right. We, you remember how? Well, they had the big roller right skate there. rink there, yep. and we one year we stayed a couple, two or three years we stayed over at the girls' home the across girls the home. street. Yep, and we were over at the girls' home. I remember one night <laughs> we, after the the, the older snuck people out. went, went <laughs> we snuck out. We went over the the, the balcony, balcony. Over the balcony. Oh, we were and naughty. when we come back, 
we come up over that balcony and there stood Aunt Laura and Mother <laughs> and Aunt Winnie waiting for us. Boy, did we ever get it. We were not well, the favorite. That was one of my Nieces favorite memories day. is going over there riding up Logan Canyon with Aunt Winnie. She always took me I and took Kent. you in her car. Yeah, we I, always I went can. with her. Yeah. And I always remember going up the rear, up Logan Canyon there and it had, you know, there was a sign that said cattle guard. Yes. And every once in a while there'd be a fisherman standing out there and says, there he is, that's the cattle guard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> Get out there so far and it springs back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's far enough. <laughs> Once we came up here and with the float in the river, and <laughs> we are spoiled. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice being at Bear Lake because Bear Lake is a, a good place too, but you've got to have a boat to get out there. Yeah, and yeah. and then you've got all sorts of other people around. Well, okay, one of the great, places. I guess we'll bring it up. One of the great stories that comes out of Bear Lake is it was the kid died in January. And so we made sure that Pam and the five kids were able to go to the reunion at Bear Lake. And so we put the camper on his truck, and I drove the truck with the kids in the camper, and uh, we, we went over there. So when we came home, the kids all got in the back of the camper, and we came home and we pulled up in front of... No, you didn't, you missed the best part no, of the story. No, this is the we finish here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we pulled up in front of kids' house, and kids piled out and Barbie, Barbie, wasn't, Barbie there. wasn't there. <laughs> they tried to get rid of her. She was about four years old, four or five years old. She wasn't there. Four. Four. She was four. Barely. And, I, and Betty left her. You know, I mean, it's just that simple. Let's tell what really happened. Max opened the door and he says, you got everybody? And I said, if you have Barbie, if we have Barbie, we have everybody. Okay, said. <laughs> Slammed the door, climbed in, and we went. Oh my gosh, I was ready to throw up. There were no cell phones, there was nothing, and we and left a four year old. And we're in Brigham City, and she's in Bear, uh, Bear Lake. Except Mother Except and Jack. Except Mother and Jack pull up behind us, and they go, Did you, you forget something? Get something? Oh, something? <laughs> <laughs> and they had Barbie. <laughs> and Barbie was out playing in the sand with Jesse. Oh, <laughs> oh. So. <laughs> been a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, dear. Those are thanks for the memories, right? Yeah. right? You remember the year that it rained and rained and rained. It was so wet. And we had a spring we bar tent. We had that spring bar tent right out there. We had that and it was like a water bed. A water bed. <laughs> just floating the underneath. Kids were just and it never did leak through. So one of the things we've always had a ton of dogs. Oh, Always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. But the Hans Acre Crest notice they have dogs. Yep. I, lots I, of kids and dogs. Lots of kids, lots of dogs. I, I know that every yeah. year. Sometimes there's like 17, 18 dogs, yeah. you know. That's more than represented of some of the families. We have more dogs than some and of the family. The origin, yeah. and, and usually the dogs get along just about as good as the people do. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Very much. Well, how good they are. Yeah. <laughs> Any other good stories? Oh, yeah. oh, well, this possibly could be 
the reason the reunion got split and part of the family and Susie didn't like it and they left. We, and it's very inappropriate nowadays, but we had what was called a fruity fairy contest. And a bunch of us a bunch of the guys dressed up Fruity. It was a pageant. And we backed the camper back up. We were inside the camper. We had the table. And each one would come out and march down, you know. And then there were judges. And I won it the first year. So so, so you were having a precursor to a pride festival. Yeah, exactly. So I won it the first year. Well, the next year, they all decided I had to do something better than I did the first year. What up on that? I had to one up it to, to, to win it. And so I went topless. <laughs> they didn't like it. Well, they took us some foam rubber, and anyway, I'm embarrassed to say that I did that. <laughs> but anyway, I won two years in a row. But that was the end of the contest, and part of the, fa and part of the family split off from the reunion because of it. Yeah, Aunt Susie was pretty straight laced. Yeah. I remember as, as young Marys, because I remember Brian did an awful lot of fun things with us, and we would go off, and he took us one night up to, what, um, Fish Haven. Fish Haven. Yeah. And, I mean, I was in my early 20s and very sheltered, and, now, and we went in, and we all gathered around him and said, we want to get a drink, but we didn't know how to order it. <laughs> So he had to tell us how to order. It was really funny. I think he would have known. <laughs> yeah, well, he knew. He knew. He knew. Yeah, yeah he, he, we gathered around, but he'd say, now say this and say that. <laughs> well, Bunk's world eggs are yeah, still yeah. famous. Yeah. Still famous. Oh, his world egg. Yeah. Still to this day. He cooked breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cook. Nobody cooked breakfast like Bunk did. The cookie. The cookie. Yeah, yeah he was cooking. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun with Brian. It started, it started on the weekend before the uh, 24th of July. It's continued on the weekend before the 24th of July. Every year since, and we've only been one year. As far as I remember, because that of the was pandemic. the COVID year. Yeah. The COVID year. Yeah. Yeah. At that time, people were dying really? with, that we go dying. to reunions, yeah. and yeah. the whole family would be wiped out with yeah. COVID. Yeah. It was like even it if was we're outside most yeah. of the time. Yeah. Well, and there were, we're not old people. Yes. <laughs> well, some well, of, some of us are older. Some of you are old. Some of us are not. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're 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 just glad to be among such good people. That's okay. I remember coming over in Honeyville, coming up and playing dolls in that back thing. Oh, that we called it the little house. The right? little, mm -hmm. little, little, little house, little, little white house out back. Oh. Well, you know, that was one of the things that I've told Betty several times, that my uncles and aunts, and spe specifically my uncles, you know, I got to go stay with all of them. And, but I, Aunt Willard, when we lived out there at the Hot Springs, Uncle Ken would stop, pick me up, I'll and take stopped. me down to Salt Lake Hardware with him. Was that a trip? That was just a trip. <laughs> and, and back, I, I, I went several times with him. Uncle Bill would stop when he was going up. When he was working for Uncle Al, he was going up to Devil Slide to get cement and stuff. He'd stop and pick me up and sing his songs all the time. Hallelujah, Bob. <laughs> Hallelujah, Bob again. <laughs> anyway, so, and they all did that, but I got to go stay with them, and Jack didn't get to go stay with any of them, so. Because he didn't know The only place is. I ever got to go stay was with Grandpa and Grandma. They're the only ones that could put up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that may be true. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think the, the feelings that I always had is my aunts and uncles were almost like my mother's and father's. I, yeah, I would go they were. Me, I was as close to them yeah. as I was to my Every aunt. time I go through uh, Richmond, I always look down there. The trees are still down there yes. where the house was. And we'd, we'd come up and stay. We'd go up there and spend the whole day, you know, with Uncle Abe and Aunt Edna. And, yes, she'd and, always do and then kale I'd, soup. And then I'd go up and stay with... Uh, Geraldine, Geraldine. And, the, and the two boys, okay, Steve and um, Randy. I was just up that way this for a, a Memorial Day, and I told the kids, I said, I am positive this is where the big, wasn't it a big square house? Yeah. The Geraldine and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, 
Farron. 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 Anyway, and yeah, they kind of picked it up, and yeah, it's kind of, and I said, this is where Steve's mom grew up, and, and or this, where uh, she lived when he was born. And this family reunion sort of kept us all together, I think. Yeah. Well, well, of course it did, Jack. And I, nothing, uh, no, nothing else could. We always well, had during the whole life. During the year, we'd all go our lives, but once a year, we all sat down and were here. Yeah. So we did 4th of July up in Buck Silver County. Well, we used to and played softball. We did. You want to know the softball the story up there? Right. Okay, no, tell no, them. No, 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 my mouth July. right here. But I used to have a gold piece of gold ended. right here where my tooth was chipped. That ended quite a while ago. But it was and, something uh, that I Max J went and ground it away. It was his inheritance, and he ground it away. He says, "I'm going to get rid of that. And put on a regular thing there." So, a but I had a, I had a you got knocked out with the ball. Well, we were playing softball there in the canyon yeah and our team our team was up and I was over sitting on a on a big old rock and you know how you kind of just day you don't see what's in front of you, you just kind of daydream I was sitting there daydream and Michael Bowman threw the ball he was and all he was only about two years old he came up had a big old rock Boom. Hit me right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you were hit me right in the mouth. Boom, you know. <laughs> Holy cow. You were just a little kid, well, you know. Of course he was, yeah. but still. <laughs> Dad. It chipped my tooth. But I, I remember playing. You're ball. lucky it didn't. Yeah, I remember really. playing the ball. I'm, I'm, I'm going, going to Grandma Hunsaker's and playing Annie Eye Over. over. And, and they did not and like us all in there and hide it underneath and they'd come running around. <laughs> but don't yeah. you remember she was not happy when we got on that cellar, top of that cellar? Yeah, yeah, yeah they didn't like that. That was an, that was kind of a no-no, but we still did it. Yeah. But didn't did Uncle Bill play with you? Yes. Of course. Oh yes. Yeah. All of them, well, because see, he, he was the youngest, yeah. so he was still, you know, still, yeah. Yeah. could have a little bit of fun with us. The rest of them were. Well, I, I agree. I think the reunion has been the single thing that has kind of kept everybody together, everybody kept together. everybody together. But you know, Fourth of July was for a long time. Thanksgiving, uh, going to the Utah State uh, games has been another activity. But that was our first date. Was to a Utah State football game, and our second date, and our second date was to a Utah State football First game. Date, second date. And she seemed, she and acted I, like she liked engaged. it, and so I thought, well, I'm going to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cool! It's been a real trip. Thanks for doing this, Lane. That's kind of cool. Thank mm -hmm. you.